everybody. This is Max Stansel from MaxStanselPhotography.com and uh, I'm going to show you what I use when I go backpacking. Here I've got my pack on and I've got my camera pack on. This is a ribs front pack and I love this little pack. I've went through many variations of all different kinds of packs trying to get my camera gear right. Uh, in backpacking weight is one of the major things because you've got to carry everything on your back, hike in maybe 10 miles set up camp and, and you know a big heavy camera kit is really heavy when you're going uphill in the rain on rough terrain and you're hauling 20 pounds of camera gear so uh, I had to really think about what I really needed to carry with me same with my backpacking gear and my and my camera gear so this is the camera kit that I take with me uh, when I go so I use a ribs front pack so let's go through and see what's in our pack uh, if I'm walking down the trail and I see something I need to take a picture of, I just whip it out and here we go. I've got uh, my Sony A6000, the same camera that I had in my everyday kit. Uh, it's a great, great camera. Love it. Uh, I do have the uh, Peak Design little tabs on it and I can use uh, a camera strap if I wanted to. I don't usually have it hooked onto it when I'm backpacking, but if I'm out and about around water, I'll put it on, put it around my neck just in case I get, you know, fumble fingers and, and drop it. Uh, on it right now is the uh, 10 to 18 millimeter uh, f4 lens uh, this is what stays on it a lot of the time when I'm out backpacking uh, when I'm going down a trail and it's all wooded and stuff this is great because it gives me that 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 view I'm not you know trying to look too deep into the woods or anything this gives me a good wide angle view uh, and it's great for landscapes and, and all kinds of stuff so that stays in the can in the bag so that's great uh, camera to take with me it, this whole setup weighs about five pounds. The whole setup weighs five pounds. My big boy camera, which I've got sitting over here, with a 24 to uh, 70 lens on it, this is about eight pounds right here. This is about seven to eight pounds. This is a heavy camera. It's a great camera, but it's a heavy camera. So uh, I needed something light, so I had to re rethink about what I was going to do with cameras. So this whole setup, everything I've got, weighs about five pounds, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, but it's about five pounds. So that's, that's the camera and one lens. Uh, if I've got to do a little bit longer look at stuff, I've got a 18 to 105. This 18 to 105 is equivalent to uh, 24 to about 150. So it's a big range. The uh, 18 or the 10 to 18 is equivalent from 15 to about 24. So these two lenses together with this camera gives me from 15 to 150. That's a big range. I, I can take a lot of shots, do a lot of things with this range, and so that's what I take with me. And I, it, what I like about this thing, I can interchange lenses. I don't have to take my pack off. I had configurations where I'd keep my camera in my pack, but I always had to take my pack off to do stuff. And when you've been hiking for three or four miles and you want to stop and take a picture, you don't want to have to take your pack off to do it. So I love these. Okay, what else do I have in here? Let's uh, let's look over here. I am a landscape photographer, so I always got I always got filters with me. This is the same filter kit that I had with my everyday use. I've got a variable uh, neutral density filter that I use like if I'm doing waterfalls and stuff like that or if I'm trying to catch clouds going across and if I dial it in you can see it lightens up and darkens up so I use that I have a circular polarizer I have uh, actually I carry two I, I actually carry a circular polarizer for each size I have here but uh, this is what I use and you can see it it dials in and, and, and dials out a uh, polarizer filter is invaluable when you're out doing landscape. It'll take sheen off of leaves and it'll blow up the skies a little bit if you've got kind of a blown out day. Uh, it does a lot of stuff, uh, so it, it, it's a great filter to have. I have some uh, step down rings that uh, if my uh, graduated uh, neutral density, my variable neutral density filter, it's a 77 filter size and I use these rings to step it down so I can use it on both, both lenses. Uh, that's not the only filters though. I also have a graduated, this is a three stop grad, a soft grad neutral density filter that I use when I'm doing sunsets and sunrises or just about anything else and I can take it and kind of block out some of the bright light that's coming in to try, kind of even out the, uh, the picture. 
So that's my filter system. So I've got a little bit of everything right there for filter systems. Let's see what else I got in here. Uh, what's in there? Let's see. Uh, on this side, I carry for rain protection. Now the ribs case, the rigs front pack is water repellent. I mean, it'll it'll beat up and everything, but after a while, it'll start get saturated if you're out in the rain. And of course, when you're out backpacking and you're five miles in and it starts raining, you're going to be in the rain for a while. There's just nowhere to hide. So you have to be able to protect your equipment. I've got a couple of gallon Ziploc bags here. Real simple. I got a couple of those that I can cover up by camera gear and stuff and, and seal them up and make sure that they don't get wet. Uh, let's see. And uh, I always, well, I, I carry this little pouch. It'll have business cards in it. I also carry a little Allen wrench in here with me and a uh, SD cards that I carry with me. Uh, extra SD card. Uh, and, and so that, that comes in this little pouch here. I don't have the SD card and the Allen wrench with me. They're in another pack right now, but that's what I usually have in this pack. So if I meet somebody on the trail and I want to know about my photography, I can give them a, a card. Or if they just want to get in touch with me, I can give them a card and they can get in touch with me. And, uh, and then I have the Allen wrench, which fits my uh, tripod, if I had a big tripod, and my camera stuff. And extra SD card. So that goes with me. Also, I have a remote, a cabled remote. Now, I don't really need to take this. My phone through Wi-Fi would work with uh, my camera. I can set my, I can use my phone and, and remote trigger this and I can actually see what the picture is. But that eats up batteries and when you're out in the woods for an extended period of time, batteries are important. You don't want to eat those up if you don't have to. So I carry a remote with me sometimes. Sometimes I don't, most of the time I do. But this is a cable remote and what's cool about this remote, uh, it will zoom, it will start and stop the camera. I can start recording if I'm videotaping something. It's a, it's, it's a pretty neat remote. So that's in that pouch. Let's see, what else I got here? Oh, I got lens cloths. I always have lens cloths. I try to take something that's very colorful when I'm out backpacking. So if I drop it, I can see it. Because, uh, you know, I'm an old guy. My eyes don't work as good as they used to. And things just don't pop out. So I could carry oranges or, or something white or something, something that'll stand out. Uh, so that's that, that pouch. Uh, over in this pouch, what do I got over here? Uh, sometimes I carry extra cameras. This is a little waterproof camera. This is a little Fuji XP something camera, but it's underwater camera. I can use this to videotape with, which I have done videotaping with, uh, or I, I can go right up underwater with it and videotape or just take stills with it. So it's a great little camera to give you a, a different perspective. And if it's pouring down rain, I can pull this out and take pictures and not worry about it getting wet while I have my other stuff covered up. So this comes with me. Uh, being a photographer, a landscape photographer, always got to have a tripod. I have a little Trail Picks tripod that I got from a startup company. Uh, I've got a little uh, ball head hooked to it. And what this does, it uses my trekking poles that I use when I'm hiking as two of the legs of the tripod. And then I just have to come up with another leg. If I'm with another hiker, like if I go hiking with my son, I can use one of his trekking poles. And they fit up inside. Let me go ahead and set it up real quick. They will fit up here. So there goes one leg. I can stick another one up. There goes another leg. And I could use, I have a old uh, tent pole from an old tent that I can use as a third leg. And it would fit up in here also. Now, they're not as versatile, this is not as versatile as a uh, big boy camera tripod. You know, the legs don't don't articulate or anything, but if I'm doing waterfalls, if I'm uh, doing sunsets and stuff like that, this works great. If I need to get low to the ground, I just take the uh, legs off and just set the, the clamp down on the ground. Uh, it'll hold about seven pounds. Uh, my whole kit is only about five pounds, so this is perfect for what, what, I, what I do. It weighs about six or seven ounces, so it doesn't weigh that much, and weight is important when you're backpacking. So uh, this is what I use for a tripod when I'm out on the trail and it works great. So there we go, there goes the tripod. Let me unhook this real quick. Let's see, and I think that's about it. I usually do carry a lens pin in here to uh, wipe off some of the stuff. 
Uh, I can also, inside this pack, I can stick my iPhone in here, uh, which I do use a lot when I'm out on the trail. I can use it for videotaping or doing selfies or whatever I need to do. But And that's what I'm actually using to record this video with. So uh, that's pretty much it. That is my backpacking uh, camera kit. So uh, from Max Nassel Photography, we'll talk to you later.